Hey folks, it's Amiibo Jason here with another installment of the Nintendo Wiretap, this time for January 18th, 2018. We have three stories to cover today, so let's get right into it. Coming in at number one today, Stardew Valley is the most downloaded Switch eShop title of 2017. Nintendo of Japan has just updated its list of 2017's best-selling eShop games and revealing the top download-only performers both at home and abroad. Well, portable Minecraft was hard to resist in Japan, but the number one spot went to Stardew Valley. That's right. Despite being released in October, it still took the number one spot on the eShop's top games of 2017, beating out games like Sonic Mania and Snipper Clips, not to mention indie mega hits such as Shovel Knight. Hopefully this means we'll see even more strong support from indie developers going forward. Have you guys picked up Stardew Valley? Personally, this was the first time I had a chance to play it when it came out on the Switch. It's a fun game, not necessarily my cup of tea, but I know a lot of people love this. Let us know what you think of the game in the comments down below. Coming up next, we have Clothes Crafting, now available in Animal Crossing Pocket Camp. The first of many new features for Animal Crossing Pocket Camp has finally gone live, Clothes Crafting. By tapping the craft button in the game navigation bar, players can now hit the clothing icon to select a range of shirts, hats, socks, and other items to have crafted by Mabel and LaBelle. You can check out the full collection of craftable clothes on our website, nintendowire.com. I'll link it in the description down below. Are you guys still playing Animal Crossing Pocket Camp? Let us know down below. I stopped playing about a week ago, but I know a lot of the members of Nintendo Wire are still playing it every single day. But what about you? Let us know down below. Finally today, you can go hands-on with Labo early at the Nintendo Labo Studio Tour. In order to advertise and record footage of the Nintendo Labo series in action, Nintendo is hosting a new event for the product line. Dubbed Labo Studio, this pop-up tour is only announced for two cities right now. Coming up first is New York City, which is coming February 2nd and 3rd, and then next month from March 2nd to the 4th, it's coming to San Francisco. Nintendo promises, if selected, that you'll be one of the first people to play with the Nintendo Labo during a three-hour hands-on event. There's just one catch, though. You need at least one kid between ages 6 and 12 to sign up. If you meet that criteria, you can head over to the event page on the official official Nintendo Labo site, and you can sign up there. What do you guys think of Labo? Are you excited? Is it even called Labo? Is it Labo? I have no idea. Let us know what you think it's called, and let us know what you think of this new product from Nintendo in the comments down below. Personally, I have a daughter, and she's going to love this. I have nephews and nieces that are going to play with it too, but that's just my opinion. Again, let us know what you think down below. And that's going to wrap up today's installment of the Nintendo Wiretap again for the evening of January 18th, 2018. I'll see you guys soon with another installment. Have a great day. Bye, guys.